We know what Blazor is, but we still don't know why we should use Blazor instead of so many other options that are available. And that's what we are going to discuss on this part. Because Blazor runs in WebAssembly and WebAssembly is part of all major browsers, it means that the code you write in Blazor is supported by all major browsers, including mobile devices. Also, learning a new programming language or a scripting language, especially JavaScript, is challenging and time consuming. So, instead of learning JavaScript, you can take leverage of your existing C sharp coding skills. C sharp is a well known, strongly typed programming language, which means that you can catch errors at compile time, unlike JavaScript, which is a scripting language, and you can catch errors at runtime. Also, in Blazor, you can use the existing .NET libraries and the .NET ecosystem is pretty rich in libraries and NuGet packages. Another reason to learn Blazor is because it's fast and you get a near native experience. We know that Blazor code runs in a WebAssembly in the browser which can run at near native speed, which means that it can run as fast as any code in the browser can run. This is especially useful when you develop games that run in a browser. Last but not least, to develop and debug Blazor apps, you can use tools which are rich in features like Visual Studio. To build Blazor apps, you can use two different architecture types or as we call them hosting models. And these are the Blazor WebAssembly and Blazor Server. The WebAssembly hosting model is also known as Blazor Client. In this model, the Blazor app is running in the client side in the browser on WebAssembly. The Blazor app, its dependencies and the .NET runtime are all downloaded to the browser. What this means is that the app is executed directly on the browser UI thread. On the other hand, with the Blazor server hosting model, the app is executed on the server from within an ASP.NET Core app. The UI updates the event handling and the JavaScript calls are all handled over a signal R connection. Now, this is all you need to know about Blazor hosting models in this part, as we are going to talk in more details in the upcoming ones.